Tesla has revealed maybe the best Model 3 ever. This has 750 kilometers of WLTP range. It's the longest range Tesla we've ever seen in Australia. In fact, this is not just for Australia. This is for China. This is for New Zealand. Uh, I believe the UK, a number of the countries around the world. Longest range car you can buy, period, in Australia, ever, by some margin. The next closest is Polestar with about 710 kilometers of range. Considering the fact that this is only a few thousand dollars more expensive than the standard range Tesla, I think this will very quickly become the best selling Tesla Model 3 in China and probably outside of China as well. In China, it's called the Tesla Model 3 Plus, and it's been on sale there for a few months time now. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. If you haven't already subscribed to our newsletter, I'll put a link in the description. What that does, it enables you to get updated about our daily videos, which you're not going to get on YouTube because for some reason, YouTube isn't showing them. So I'll put a link in the description. The new Tesla Model 3, it has some changes. Yeah, not just power, not just motors, not just range. It's got a fair few changes worth considering. Tesla have ended, here in Australia anyway, the Model 3 long range all-wheel drive. That's the car that this is based on. But there are a few other changes as well. As I mentioned, 750 kilometers on a single charge and it has a stalk. So the indicator buttons that have been removed from the steering wheel, Tesla has put a stalk back into the car, which I think is a good, good idea. They've also changed the badging, black badging, which definitely looks better in my opinion. Although I'd probably remove the badging. That's just me, I'm not a fan of badges. And uh, there's a front bumper camera which will improve the parking and the full self-driving and everything else. The performance flagship has been changed as well. So Tesla has changed the Model 3, well, introduced the new Model 3 Plus from China, and they've also changed the Model 3 performance. The Model 3 performance gets a bigger battery, and it has 571 kilometers of range compared to the previous battery, which provided 528 kilometers of range. In other words, it has 43 kilometers more range, which is a bit of a bummer if you've already bought a Model 3 performance. But anyway, things always get better, don't they? They always change, which is the exciting thing about electric cars. The long range all wheel drive has been canceled here in Australia. Now, interestingly, the battery pack, it is bigger, um, and I'll get to that in a second. But first, let's have a look at the prices. I should also mention when you can actually get this car. Apparently, you can, well, you can order right now. I've just jumped on the Tesla website and it shows you the performance, the range, etc. But deliveries will commence in late October. Um, and I, th I think, sorry, test drives late October and deliveries in November. Prices, $55,000 still for the entry-level rear-wheel drive. So that's this, the model with lithium-ion phosphate batteries. But if you want to get the long range rear wheel drive, it has a bigger battery pack. It's an NMC battery, actually has more speakers as well. And it has more power. It does zero to 100 one second faster. Plus it has 750 kilometers of range, which is 230 kilometers more than the standard model. So basically this is the difference, right? 7,000 Australian dollars, which is about just over about 4,700 US dollars to get 230 kilometers more range, one second faster, zero to 100, better speakers, and that's about it. Obviously a bigger battery pack. Oh, actually, sorry, I should mention, it also has faster charging, 250 kilowatt charging versus the base model has 170 kilowatt. Do I think it's worth paying the extra 7,000? 100%, it is absolutely worth it, in my opinion. I mean, this is an incredibly good deal for the longest range EV that Tesla has ever made. Prices, uh, rear rate prices, $55,000 for the base model, $62,000 for the long range rear wheel drive, and $81,000 for the performance all wheel drive. The price is the same for the performance all wheel drive. The long range all wheel drive, which is no longer being sold, that was $65,000. So $3,000 less for the new long range rear wheel drive, which has a bigger battery pack than the long range all wheel drive. So yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. Absolutely. I think a lot of people have been wanting the car with more range. You'll be able to drive for one. People talk about the Melbourne to Sydney trip or Sydney to Brisbane. 
you have to do that trip with one charge if you want to. I don't think you'd want to, but you could if you wanted to just do the one charge. Now, speaking of the battery pack, how much bigger is it? Not much. It's only four kilowatt hours bigger, but I think it might be more energy dense potentially. It's 82 kilowatt hours usable and gross battery pack size is 84 kilowatt hours. It's an NMC battery from LG Chem and that's obviously the same battery that Tesla are using in the Model 3 Performance to deliver obviously a lot less range in the Model 3 Performance, which makes sense. Anyhow, what do you get as the standard wheels? Well, this is how Tesla got more range out of this car. Well, one of the, the biggest reason, they reduced the wheel size. Standard inch, standard size wheels are 18 inch rims. If you option, you can go onto Tesla's website, you can option and pay an extra, I think it's $1,500 or it might be $1,800 to get the 19 inch rims, that will decrease your range by 60 kilometers. Nearly 10%, or well, it's about 8% less range if you get bigger wheels, which don't do anything for you. So I've been telling manufacturers from China particularly, I've been saying them, please do this. It's gonna help your sales. If you want some help with the sales, give customers an option of having smaller wheels. If you just change the wheels by one inch or two inches, I mean, 21 inch rims, you've went down to 19s, you probably get an extra 100 kilometers of range, two inch smaller wheels. So in my opinion, this makes a lot of sense. And also it tells giving the option, if you don't wanna get those small 18 inch wheels, go for 19s and then you'll still get a lot of range as well. If you wanna know what the range was of the long range all wheel drive, which is no longer available in Australia, but it is in other countries, it's 629 kilometers but that's from a 78 kilowatt hour battery. So the battery is a little bit smaller, about 5% smaller, four kilowatt hour smaller battery for the long range all wheel drive. But I believe they've updated that too. Um, just found out that a couple of hours ago, that battery pack has been increased to, six, to 82 kilowatt hours also. So that new long range all wheel drive is gonna give you 660 kilometers of range. Nice improvement there as well. Now, although Tesla does hold the record now for the longest range EV in Australia that's ever been offered, there will be another EV coming within a few months time that will beat it by a wide margin, which is the BMW iX3. It's gonna have about 805 kilometers of range, but it'll probably cost twice the price. So it's you know not really all that directly comparable. That said, I mean, the iX3 does look like a fantastic car. I did a video of that because it's great and I'll put a link in the description. Now, here's the thing. How can Tesla get so much more range out of increasing the battery pack by only four kilowatt hours? Well, like I said, the wheels are smaller. That makes a big difference. So what that means is the new version only gets a 30 kilometer range increase versus if you compare the long range all wheel drive with 18 inch wheels, yeah, it only gets 30 kilometers more range than that model. Uh, so, you know, it's really having those smaller wheels that makes the big difference. Model three performance. Let's have a look at that for a second. But before we do, Performance wise, what is the difference? The Model 3 long range rear wheel drive, it'll do zero to 100 in 5.2 seconds, zero to 100, 5.2. Long range rear wheel drive, the base model. So the lithium ion phosphate battery, which is 7,000 cheaper, that does zero to 106.1 seconds. So yeah, one second faster for the rear wheel drive long range. A performance all-wheel drive, that'll do zero to 103.1 seconds. Top speed, 261 kilometers an hour. Uh, apparently the power output is 343 kilowatt, but um, tests say it's actually closer to 400 kilowatt. And there will be some other changes to the Model 3 performance as well, like the indicator stalk returning. Plus, plus I should also mention that the shifter is still on the, uh, still on the screen. I'm not a huge fan of that. When I tested that, I wasn't a huge fan. They're not a big deal though. You shift to, to go from uh, park to drive and reverse, you have to press a button on the screen. So guys, let's cap up, let's summarize those numbers again, in case you're a little confused, just to make sure everyone is on the same page here. The base model, Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive, right? 55,000 Australian dollars. Range is unchanged at 520 kilometers. Long range rear wheel drive, 61,900. So $7,000 more expensive range is 750 kilometers. Long range all wheel drive, which is not available in Australia, but it is in other countries, that one has 660 kilometers of range, which is an increase of 30 kilometers. 
Performance or wheel drive? Its battery has been changed as well, and it is $81,000. Range has increased to 571 kilometers. In other words, Tesla has updates. It's updated its entire lineup except for the base model. Also, remember there's that new front camera that's black badging, and there's now indicator, an indicator stalk, which a lot of people will be happy to see the return of. I should also mention, in China, if you want to get an indicator stalk, you can order that from Tesla and you can get that fitted if you don't like the buttons on the steering wheel. So that might be an option soon outside of China. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.